What's going on YouTube? Next is here bringing you my next Black White 2 battle. This one is a match against Trainer Coolty. It's going to be an Ubers match. I'm actually going to be uploading quite a few Ubers matches. Uh, may not seem that way, but uh, I'm uploading one to the PMP beta, so look forward to that. Um, here, let's just check out his team and see what he's got going on. He's got a Kyogre, a Dialga, a Arceus, and a Ferrothorn, a D friggin' Palkia, and a uh, Deoxys Speed. So yeah, speed is going to be hazards, probably Ferrothorn too, so I don't know how that's going to be branched out between the two. On my team, a standard rain team, uh, I've built for Ubers with uh, Kyogre, a uh, Roosting Substitute, freaking uh, uh, Kyurem White, a Wasius, <laughs> a Ferrothorn, a Gliscor, and a Keldeo. Um, I run two Scarfers on this team. He... Uh, which will come in handy considering he has the Axis Speed and some really powerful, possibly Scarfed uh, Palkia would be a problem. Um, Scarfed Dialga is actually a problem too, uh, which you'll see in this match. So yeah, let's just kind of dive in and see how this match goes. Uh, it looks like I'll be okay from the team preview, just have to make a couple of good predictions here and there. Um, so yeah, let's just get, dive right into the battle and see how it goes. So here we go, challenged by Tyler, which is Trainer Cool T's thing on here, I guess. So I'm going to send out my Whaler, just to set up rain. Here he goes into 9,001 miles per hour, which is his freaking Deoxys speed. I'm not going to, not really sure what he wants to do, so I'm just going to, um, go straight for the Surf, thinking he might want to go for extreme speed, and I know I can't lock myself in a water spout because of the fact that they usually carry extreme speed. So I'm going to go for Surf here, and try to minimize as many hazards as possible. He's going to hang on with his Focus Sash here, and he's just going to hit me with an Extreme Speed just to deal a little bit of damage, it looks like. So that's fine, that's fine. Deoxys Speed is going to deal a little bit of damage. But uh, Stealth Rock's not much of a problem. He didn't get up two layers or spikes or anything like that, so I'm not too worried. So Time Skip's going to come out here. I'm like, okay, what are you going to do? Probably a Draco Meter. That's like the only thing that can hit Kyogre, because I'm, I should have stayed in, because I could have taken a Thunder, even, from, like, this thing. So, barring it was the choice spec, so... He makes a great prediction and goes to the Aura Sphere. Here I'm like, oh, wow, okay, so I didn't expect early predictions, honestly. Uh, kind of scout each other's place off. He has a crit, which kind of mattered, because, like, I would have just switched out and have more survivability on this thing. But unfortunately, I don't have that much left, but I do want to save it, trying to set up spikes, maybe T-Wave something on a switch, um, or save it for a uh, fodder later. So he's going to go for another Aura Sphere, and he has to switch into my Uber Death set. Um, no, he can't do much to me, so... You yeah, he appears to be locked in the aura sphere. So, yeah, um, I'm predicting maybe Scarf. I still think it might be Specs at this point, because I don't know. I can't really judge by damage, min-max, or whatever. So I'm going to Toxic, knowing he's going to switch out. Um, yeah, and he goes into Kyogre. Here, I'm just like, okay, oh my god, I just don't know what this thing's going to do. So, I'm going to withdraw here, as he also withdraws, revealing to me that he might be possibly Scarf, because he is faster than me, but I am going for the Protect. Oh, actually, I don't switch out. I just Protect to scout what he's going to do. And now he's going to switch it to Ferrothorn, and I'm just going to be like, okay, go back into Wall D, hopefully uh, he'll go for the Leak Seed or something equally as dumb. He goes for T-Wave, unfortunately, and I'm like, oh god, T-Wave. Just my luck. Alright, bring on the Parahacks. Let's bring it on the Parahacks. So he's going to withdraw here. I'm going to go for a T-Wave of my own. Uh, so yeah, he's going to predict that nicely and go into his Mantine again. Oh my god, what is up with the prediction? Here, I'm thinking, what type of Kyogre is this? So I'm going to go for the uh, Lead Seed here, I believe, as he goes for a Combine. Here on my OK Combine. Combine, freaking Resto Chesto freaking thing, maybe? I don't know. Uh, I've also seen the Rest Talking ones. Mine's just Combine 3 attacks. So I don't know what most of these run. I go for the Lead Seed. I miss! Oh my god, what is... Oh my god, the heck. Here, I'm going to protect thinking he's going to attack, and I just want to get some HP back. Uh, see what he's going to do. Here, I'm just like, alright, Toxic Damage is racking up. Here, he's probably going to go for another Combine, so I'm just going to set up a... Or, I'm going to go for the protect, Double Protect, I guess. And I was like, I think I predicted him go for... I was like, he's either going to go for another attack or go for Combine. I think he might go for Combine. So, yeah, I'm trying to just get... I need to get Lead Seed on this thing so bad. So here, I think I'm just going to go for another Protect. As he reveals, I think, the rest. Uh, yeah, rest. Oh my god, I'm like... I could have went for... Actually, I have no attacking moves on this first one. That's right. It's Protect, Par uh, Thunder Wave, Spikes, and Leech Seed. 
I was like, I should have went for the power whip, but I was like, oh yeah, I don't have power up on the stupid thing. Okay, and here I'm just like, oh god damn it, what have I done? So he's gonna get an ice beam on me, and I'm like, oh my god, don't kill, don't kill. Oh, thank god. No, 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 no. So I get parahaxed on the one turn I really didn't want to get parahaxed. He finishes me off with a skull. There's really no point in staying or switching at this point because he has plus freaking bajillion. Here I'm going to go into my own whip, uh, thing and just go for a thunder, hoping that I'll paralyze it at least so I can at least to a KO it possibly. I don't know. So I'm going to do that. It's going to do nothing. And unfortunately, I don't get the parahax. He's going to go for the skull, and that's not going to do a lot to me, even at plus bajillion, I guess. We go for another thunder. Just banking on parahax right now. That's like my saving grace at this point. Unfortunately, uh, even though I've always been, every time my opponent uses, like, Thunder on me, it's, like, always a guaranteed paralysis with Thunder, and I never get a paralysis with Thunder. That's, like, so freaking lame. So I'm switching Little Pony, which is my Keldeo here, and, uh, yeah, it doesn't look so good, so I'm going for the Secret Sword. Hopefully, that'll finish it off, but it does! Oh, oh, oh my god! Oh, don't get the Skull, don't get the Skull, I didn't get the Thunder, I didn't get the para. you shouldn't get the Skull Burn. You shouldn't get the skull burn. You shouldn't. Okay, you didn't. Good. Then over for the freaking secret sword. Finish off Mantine, and that'll be dead Kyogre for life. Oh my god, that thing was annoying. GG, no, no re. Okay, no rematch, I guess. Here, I'm like, I'm expecting the freaking extreme speed. It was like super obvious at this point. So yeah, I switch into my Uber Death set to basically sponge a hit, and uh, yeah, I do kind of do that well. Just like freaking Life Orb RCS normal is just still such a powerhouse. Um, here, I believe I'm just going to go for the, uh, uh, the toxic again. Just need to get something toxic, but he switches on his own Ferrothorn. Here I'm like, okie dokie, I'm gonna go for the Earthquake. I need him to go for the uh, T Wave this time. But instead, he goes for the Lead Seed. I'm like, oh my god, why cannot I? Why can I not? Why can't I not predict this guy? Why can't I not do this? Oh boy! This is going to be one of those matches. <laughs> so here I'm like, okay, I'm lead seated. And Poison no back. I'm going to roost here. Uh, psh, I have no reason not to. Um, you can set up spikes, I guess. It's like one thing you can do at this point. Or you can go for power whip, which he does after I roost. Oh my god, quit it. Just stop it. Just freaking stop it. Just stop it, man. Just stop this. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> so I'm going to get lead seed damage. I'm going to get poison held back up. And I'm like, oh god. I do not know this guy's play style at all. I cannot read his moves. That's like the problem. I'm just like, I don't know. He's very, he's playing really well. And I can't like, just having out of that mindset that he's just going to be able to predict him. Because I haven't seen basically what he's done. He's basically scouted me to death and realized my playing style. So here I'm just going to be like, whatever, whatever, just going to go for the substitute, hoping he goes for the T-Wave. No, I can't one-shot him. Like over me, he goes for the T-Wave, and I'm like, alright, that's a good sub. Free sub. Here, I'm just like, set up as many heads as you want, I don't care at this point. I'm just going to try to finish her off with an Ice Beam. Uh, luckily, I get a Freeze right here, I'm like, oh my god, thank the lord for the Freeze. Woo, Ferrothorn is just a pain in my freaking side. Um... Oh my god, I know it doesn't really make up for the... Freeze is never equivalent to, like, hacks earlier on in the game. Unless you got a bajillion hacks, then that's, like, the only reason it's, it's fair. Crit, or Sphere, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll trade that. I'll trade that, so that's pretty much it. It's a fair thorn for a fair thorn, I believe. That's what the game's trying to tell me. So, <laughs> with the Ice Beam here, I'm putting off this frozen, uh, frozen fair thorn here. And, Wow. As a Death Barathorn, and the odds are kind of coming back in my favor a little bit as he switches in this guy. Here, I'm just like, he's going to go for the extreme speed. I don't know how that's actually going to be able to break my sub or not. It might be, uh, which it does. And here, I believe I just go for the Ice Beam again. Yeah, just Ice Beam, because that's my more powerful move. I have Dragon Pulse on this too. Just Dual Stab, uh, Roost, Substitute. Here, I have no reason not to go for Ice Beam, but he goes for Extreme Speed again, I guess this is his uh, strongest move on his uh, Arceus. And they're just like, okay, I'll just finish her off with an Ice Beam. Which leaves me and, I believe, his Palkia and his Dialga, the worst two possible remaining Pokemon in the world. Um, which I believe are both choice at this point, because uh, he got to switch one in, but I was behind a sub, so he couldn't easily break it. 
So in comes this guy here. I'm gonna switch out, knowing I really shouldn't have. I should have really done something here. I'm gonna go for the Uber Death Side, predicting the uh, the freaking uh, Orsphere again for some odd reason. But I was like, he's free to go for a Draco. My Ferrothorn is dead. All I have is this guy left. So I'm switch basically switching against Death Potter at this point. Here I'm just like, okay, um, I'm going to set up. I'm going to set up and possibly sit here. Here is the winning game-changing play I make. Um, I'm banging on the fact that Palkia is Scarfed and Dialga is Expert Belt or some crap. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why I did this. Here I'm like, alright, I'm going to go for the Extreme Speed. It's going to 2 KO Palkia pretty easily. Um, and he's going for the Hydro Pump. That's going to be a damn big... But I'm like, okay. That did a lot. That did a lot. So I should have thought, wow, that guy is specs, but I didn't. I thought I was running like two, like a scarf. Actually, it could have been scarf damage. I'm not sure about this. I don't play the... Here, I should have went for the extreme speed, and I would have won the game. But unfortunately, I go for the waterfall, thinking he might be slower than me. Now I'm like, shit, he is in fact scarfed. But I do have my scarf Keldeo left, so hopefully Modest Scarf Keldeo can finish this game off for me with a Secret Sword. It's my last Pokemon, my last chance. Here it comes out of the wire, I go for the Secret Sword, and here's where that Extreme Speed would have definitely helped me out, plus the Extreme Speed would have brought him down to the below that, and I could have easily finished him off. He's going to finish me off with the Dragon Pulse, and that'll be GG Trainer Cold T. I thought I held my own pretty well against, uh, even though you made so many freaking awesome predictions. Uh, basically, this guy's useless, he's Scarfs, and I realize that now, and I have like no speed investment, so Beyonder's dead. So yeah, like I said, GG, uh, Trainer Cool T. Um, I always have trouble with Arceus, I don't know why, it's such a freaking powerhouse. I'm sorry, I'm I, I run everyone but normal Arceus, I just think it's a waste to waste all its cool little forms for normal, but normal's actually really freaking powerful, more powerful than any other forms. So yeah, um, remember to check out his channel in the link below. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in my next upload. Peace.